Another ambush, which which was really good. Dominic was real good on ambushes. We always, he usually always walked point. And we had been out <clears throat> the night before and was up on a river. I can't remember the name of the river. He probably remembers, remembers the name of the river. It was up around a place called Coochie. So we are again in, we were in a little brush of, of, uh, of uh, banana trees. Really beautiful little area. Nice weather, we're, so we're laying there. Literally, again, six guys. And all of a sudden, we, somebody's cooking. And they're cooking within 20 feet of us. We could hear pots and pans rattling. But you see, you can't move. You don't ever move. And you can't put a light on. You don't do anything. You, just, you wait for them to either come to you or they walk by you, and whatever. Then you dispatch them. All of a sudden, they would, did this for about three hours, and then all quiet. Next morning, we're looking around. We couldn't find anything. So we walked back in, told, uh, I think it was our XO, LT, what happened. And he said, okay, I want you guys to go back out tonight because you know where it was, blah, blah, blah. Some of the guys said, oh, grouse, they didn't want to go back out because you didn't want to do an ambush every single night because you had to sleep sometime. Couldn't sleep in the day. So we went back out, and Dominic, I, I can't remember if Dominic was with us on the first one, but he walked point going back out the next night, and we would go out just at dark. When the light's bad, you can't see real well. But anyway, I'll never forget it. He's walking point. We've got four or five or six guys behind him, space maybe 5, 10, 15 feet apart, you know, maybe three, four, five meters. And all of a sudden, he gives the hand signal, everybody downed. So we, we all went down. What's, what's this? So he crawls back and he said, as I broke through the grass, the elephant grass, at the edge of the river, there was a gook on the other side of the river waiting for us. And as soon as he saw me, he flipped over backwards. So now we're going, oh, fuck. They know where we are. They know we're here. It's going to be a bad night. And it was a bad night, but anyway. That was another fun, fun evening. Well, what kind of point man was Dominic? Um, as a point man, Dominic was very methodical. He had good eyes. He had good hearing, and he was slow. He didn't take. He didn't rush. I've seen a lot of people would rush through things and break through the bush and break through. The, you know, Dominic wasn't that way. I, he just was a natural. He was a natural walking point. You know, he was very observant, very quiet, um, and that's that's what kept a lot of people alive, kept a lot of guys alive, you know. So he was, I, I felt better when he was on point than anything else. Really? Oh, yeah. I mean, I was, you felt safer because, you know, most of the time, a lot of the times, if you get ambushed, they're going to kill two or three guys immediately. And he just never walked us into that. Now, that night, we they did come in on us. I mean, we did have firefight with them that night. We, we had to finally get out of the area. They couldn't, I was wounded that night. They couldn't get a chopper in because it was real foggy and rainy. It was monsoon season. We, we laid in a rice paddy all night, and then the next morning we, we walked out. We got out. Well, they, they, they sent some guys out to get us because we didn't know what we, what we ran into. And as I remember, that night uh, there's a machine gun called an M60, and our gunner, who was a young kid, was kind of a cherry, what we call a cherry. He was new to going to the field. Um, he took M60 apart, and there's a, there's a little m mechanism called a gas plug, and he dropped the fucking thing in the dark and couldn't find it. So we didn't have an automatic weapon. So we were, uh, nobody was real happy about that. But the, what even makes this story more interesting to me, years later, probably in the 80s, a friend of mine that I went to school with, uh, we were just shooting the breeze. He said, hey, have you ever read this book? It was called The Tunnels of Coochie. I said, fuck, I don't, I don't, I've never seen this book. Coochie, where we were on this ambush, was honeycombed with tunnels, hospitals. Uh, they cooked down there. They lived down there. And that's right, we were right over the top of them. And I didn't know that because you're thinking, where did these guys go? How did they disappear? We went down to the river. There was no tracks. They weren't. They didn't come up through the river. We thought maybe they brought a sandpan in and they walked up. You know, uh, -uh no tracks at all. Just disappeared off the face of the earth. Tunnels is coochie. You can read it today.